Hey guys, Dirk here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a watch to show you. This is quickly became one of my favorite watches in the collection. I just love the size, the loom, everything about it. <clears throat> I absolutely love. Uh, so this is the Helsin Shark Diver 45. So they claim it's a 45 millimeter case. The bezel's 45 millimeter. The case is just a hair under. But this is a massive watch. And we'll just get it right out of the way. It is a big, thick, chunky, fairly, you know, decent weight to it watch. Um, and that's because it is a 2,000 meter water resistant watch and i had to look that up and that is uh actually 1.24 uh, miles deep so we'll jump right into the specs it's 45 millimeter case it's a 54 millimeter lug tip to lug tip is what they say on the website i measured it out at about 53.6 it is a 24 millimeter lug width this rubber strap tapers down to about 22 and it is on the website, 18 mils thick, I measured it at 19 mil, which is three quarters of an inch thick. Yeah, three quarters of an inch thick to this sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inside. It does have an automatic helium escape valve because when you're down at those pressures, it needs to release the gas as you come back up, I guess. I'm gonna maybe go down about eight feet in a pool once in a while <laughs> um, it is an automatic watch it does not have uh, hacking so it's a we're not 100% sure on the movement it may be the Miyota 8215 because it doesn't have hacking it does have hand winding and it does have a date down here at almost the between the four and the five is the date the loom on this is an orange fluorescent type color. Uh, this particular one is maybe 2015, 2016. I recently just got it from my good buddy Rob over here, Random Rob. And if you haven't checked out his watch channel, you're missing out. I will put a link to his channel down below because you must check him out. He does a watch review every day. So if you wanna see this, his review on this one, go look, cause his is much better than mine, I'm sure. Um, it does have the sign crown. It comes in at about 194 grams or 6.8 ounces. So it's just, a, yeah, yeah, so it's about seven ounces. It does have a 120 click bezel that is super satisfying. There's very little back play. That was my hand moving. Um, it's super just fun to, to move and it lines up really well. Let me put it on my wrist here for you to show you what that looks like. Because while it is a big watch, uh, as you know, I'm kind of into big knives, uh, it works. There is some wrist presence, but it fits on my seven and a quarter. It works really well. It does have a signed uh, buckle which is kind of cool, but it is a big, thick watch, which kind of goes along with my big, thick, chunky knives. So it works for me. It may not be for everybody. This is my first Helsin, and it will not be my last. I'm actually looking at this same exact watch in a carbon fiber. So they make this in a carbon fiber, they make it in titanium. They do have a 40 mil version and they've got several other models that are more normal in size, I guess you could say. And um, so we'll do a little comparison here with a custom modded SKX that Rob also built for me. And I'll do a review on this here shortly as well. Uh, again, Rob did a great review on it as well, so you can check that out. Um, about next to a G-Shock from maybe 10 or 15 years ago. 
really only got into watches. I used to wear this every day for as long as I can remember. And then in June and July, my buddy Michael kind of drug me, and he didn't have to work too hard, into the watch world. And uh, now here I am. And one more comparison, my other very becoming super uh, favorite watch is this uh, bronze Zelos Swordfish. Super great watch. I absolutely love this one. So yeah, we'll do a little side by side, you know, here with the Zelos and with the SKX, which a lot of my watch guys know about the SKX. Much thinner, much, you know, more normal, if you will. So that's, that's, you know, let me give you a loom shot on these because this orange is fantastic and I'll kind of compare it with the loom on some of these couple of others also because these have great crazy loom. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for checking it out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, go check out Rob's channel as well for to get your watch fix on. And I'll put links to all this stuff and the Helson website in the description below. So here we go with the orange of the Helson, the Seiko green, even though this is a custom modded watch, it's all Seiko original parts, and the Zellos with that loomed bezel. Just phenomenal watches all together, and this one just shines bright. I can't get enough of the Helsin Shark Diver. So thanks a lot, everybody. I appreciate you watching, and you all have a great day.